Hi, this is Chidambaram. Today we are going to discuss about calling PLSQL from PSL script or concurrent program. This one we are going to cover it calling PLSQL block in cell script, calling procedure from cell script, calling concurrent program from the cell script. I I have already created that concurrent program. It is host based execution method. This is the cell script file name demo underscore sh. This file is created using Oracle standard utility. This one already discussed in previous tutorial. Just to open this program definition. This is the program definition. Three parameter I have already defined it. All are, 20, all are character types. This program is attached to all request group so that I can able to uh, submit that program from all responsibilities. The program is uh, created under this this program created payable model. So the file should be created in AP top under the bin folder CD color AP top slash bin. So under the bin folder the file is created. File name is demo underscore dot sprg. So as we discussed in previous tutorial, these are the uh, default parameters for that concurrent program. These are the default parameters. And these are the user, user defined parameters. Print the user defined parameter as well. This is the standard one. Now we will discuss about first method calling PLSQL block in cell script. I have created one PLSQL block. This is the standard syntax, like this is the sample syntax. We using that one we can call PLSQL block. So just to, within this begin end, I wrote a normal normal anonymous block like uh, from AP invoices all. We can select that invoice num in the invoice amount and assigning to that variables LV invoice num and LV invoice amount. So after that we should print that values. What are the values we are fetching? We should print it. It's dbms output dot put line printing first value has symbol as a delimiter then second value. So using this one this one, this will help for suppress this will not help for suppress log information like it is connected this value is executed like that like that will come so using this value we can suppress those values fcp login it will use to supply database username and password for that database database establishment this function is just to calling here once it is calling we can get the data like invoice number has symbol invoice amount we should cut those value based on hash delimiter using the hash delimiter i will cut the first value field only means first value it is invoice number second value is invoice amount for these things we should know the basic cell, cell script programming knowledges so that we can easily achieve this functionality without any issues just to copy this code and place it. In the meanwhile, we can check that value for this query. So just to check in two values is coming that invoice number and invoice amount. So we can go and submit that program just to copy this program name. Close it. This is a sample response responsibility I have attached this program this is test 1 test 2 test 3 submit this program executing not only these values we can add it as many values we can return it like invoice currency invoice currency payment currency 
those things also we can add it here we can we should put the deep uh, uh, has as a delimiter we can keep on increasing our values while we are getting that values we can put it other values then f3 as a parameter f4 as a parameter like that like that we can cut other values program is completed just to open it it is not displaying any values here we can check it sorry the pro i didn't save this program here just to copy it and not saved it just to save resubmit the program it is pending pending status the thing is here we are getting that value from cell script to pl sql so switch will happen from this session to other session so it takes some times so we try to avoid as uh, so so many pl sql block connecting from cell script to this one so as much possible we can try to uh, simplify this pl sql block calling from cell script just to check it so now we can able to see the invoice number and invoice amount check the valid validation yeah, invoice number and invoice number both are both are correct compared to this place so this is the way we can achieve it one place from calling pl sql anonymous block in cell script next one is calling procedure from cell script i have created already predefined procedure for that one this is a package name this is the procedure name i am calling three parameter passing to this procedure just to printing this values and insert those values into c log just to checking that value any values that are present in the c log delete c log commit so no values is there we can call this procedure like procedure name this procedure name dot sorry this package name dot procedure then we can pass our parameters check this parameter our parameter is parameter one is param one param two param three like that dollar param one dollar param two dollar param three within single quote we need to pass it so that it will accept this variable values in this plsql session in the plsql session and it will pass to other procedure so just to copy those values open our script go to pl sql block within begin the execution part just to put i insert insert those values just to save it resubmit the program now the expected output is the three values which we passed from this program they should be inserted in the c log as well as we are expecting this would be this will be print in log file you can check it any value is there no we can wait some time so those three values is printed here so it seems the program is completed yeah this program is completed as expected yeah program is completed but the thing is it is loaded into this table i mean this program is this pack this process is called but the statement is not printing the reason is if you call any plsql block from cell script 
it will not print the log information which you we, we wrote it in PLSQL block so that it is if you want to debug any statement we cannot debug easily for PLSQL block which is called from cell script so that we can create separate program then we can call that program from PLSQL block it will work it so this is the PLSQL program I have created for the PLSQL program I mean concurrent program I created this is the default parameters I am passing three values here and just printing those three values so this this is the this is the concurrent program I have created I can show this definition this is the main method procedure name dot main function I am calling is the main then check it so this is check it parameter the three parameters I defined here even this program also attached in is all request group so that I can able to submit this program from any responsibilities so just to close it so before that calling that uh, concurrent program it has some standard syntax is there the syntax is conc sub then username mark username and database password then application short name they mean responsibility application short name then responsibility name then username of submitter then wait whether we need to complete the program up to wait up to completion or we can go we can proceed rest of the things without complete the program also there is wait yes or no then concurrent this is concurrent application short name for the program then program name then parameter give the space then we can put the parameter all other things are like program name the program description repeat time this and all are optional one but the yellow color whatever I have mentioned is yellow color that is mandatory for that concurrent program so I am going to call this program I am going to call this program from our cell script this is our program going to call it so the standard syntax conc sub conc sub after that rclabs username and password for apps instead of passing the hot code values I, am, I can use fcp login this is standard variable for rclabs getting username password in Linux section next one is responsibility application short name this is the responsibility I am going to use it so application is 200 query this one SQL AP is a short name of this application so SQL AP then put that responsibility name then put that username submitter wait I want to wait this program up to complete then concurrent this is con concurrent program application name SQL AP this is concurrent program short name then parameter 1 parameter 2 parameter 3 so this is the way if we can put this one in this cell script go to end this value save it sorry go to that program Just go to responsibility Submit the program. It is running. It will call internally the second program. It 
we can wait some time it is calling mostly we can use this uh, this uh, PLSQL block for cell script we define that uh, inbound or outbound directories in this uh, value set or lookup uh, we can fetch those values uh, using the PLSQL block program is completed just to see the view log you have all three values you can able to see it just to close it, close all log information. The program is keep on running. Yeah, the program also completed. Checked it, submitted the request. This is a request submitting and concurrent SQL short name and pro program short name and uh, application short name then parameter 1, 2, 3 do normal completion so we can check it 6, 7, 8 this is the concurrent request so it's coming correctly so this, this is the way we can call sub program from that main self script program so if any doubt is there please give me, give me a comment under this comment section we can thanks for watching my videos